welcome to sunny South Africa. Today's going to be a jackpot ride inside a Global Express. Let's go. Thank you. Bye. Good morning. My name is Marco. Um, my colleague today is uh, Peter. Peter's going to be flying us to uh, Maputo. We're going to be taking off in a northerly direction and then we'll uh, set course to the east uh, towards Maputo, climbing to 37,000 feet. The weather in Maputo is good, the weather en route is good. Uh, you can sit back, relax and enjoy the flight with us. So joining me today, there's also Nadine and also Philip from UAS. So they're on the trip support and also showcasing this airplane to all the customer on the road today. Yeah, that's all I need. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The captain just turned the signal sign on. We just got quite a severe, clear turbulence. Uh, the takeoff of this jet's incredibly powerful. I was literally pulled back when I was trying to film from the window. That is so beautiful. Awesome. I rarely see people do like that. <laughs> Amazing. Just a 40 minutes flight. The flight attendants managed to serve hot tea, even with hot milk, croissant, butter, jam, and come with fresh flour as well. Look at the landscape, it's ever-changing. Um, it was a bit muddy and now we're approaching the city. Exciting, first time landing in Mozambique. Here's our first stop, let's explore. Oh. Our stopover in Maputo was very short as we stayed in transit while some client visited the aircraft. This is my kitchen. It's a galley, we call it a galley. So what I do uh, before the flight, I'll get a catering budget, go do some shopping. You manage the shopping list, the shopping budget. Yes, yes. So what I know, what I do is I'll get a credit card from my boss, and I'll get to I get a briefing or of the client's requirements, the dietary requirements, and then I take it from there. That's how I do my shopping. Back on the flight deck. Yeah, Captain, what was this? You had that hun over on the rails, like a, your little good luck charm. Yeah, it's a it's a good luck charm. It uh, the owner is from the Sutu. Uh, the owner of the aircraft, the principal, and um, we just put, we hang this up here as a good luck charm. Uh -huh. And, yeah, I and see, the yeah. owner's name is also Sam. Oh, the owner's name is Sam? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, look at the seal. Oh, that's like Uncle Sam's seal, actually. Uh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Captain, earlier there was a lot of power. What kind of engine this airplane has on the throttle here? <laughs> it's got a Rolls-Royce Rolls Royce engine. Uh -huh. uh, produces uh, 14,750 pounds of thrust at sea level. Powerful. Yeah, very, very powerful. On our next takeoff, you'll uh, you'll see what we what I mean. I wonder, like, what's the range on this original Global Express like? Yeah, so we can probably do about 5,200 to 5,400 nautical miles, uh, quite easily. Joburg to London, non-stop, uh, non eleven hours. Yeah, non-stop. What's the, the maximum the, ceiling this airplane can go? Uh, max ceiling is fifty-one thousand. Oh. So, but uh, yeah, we usually set it between. 
41 to 45,000 feet. That's a bulk commercial jet. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's about, so we always get the shortcuts there. Uh, and uh, we're not speed restricted uh, sitting behind another airliner. Or... The next sector we're going to fly is from, um, from Maputo, which is in Mozambique, to um, Nairobi, which is in Kenya. That's 3 hours and 20 minutes, and we're going to climb straight to 41,000 feet. That's what the, that is what the impressive uh, thing about this aircraft is, is that um, at this weight, the current weight that we have, and even at higher weights, we can climb pretty much straight to 41,000 feet. We don't have to do any step climbing uh, like most airliners do, and they only reach their 41,000 feet at the end of the trip, uh, where we started 41 straight away. Our flight's going to take us through Mozambican airspace, goes all the way up to Malawian airspace, and then we cross over into Tanzanian airspace, and then into Kenya, all the way up to Nairobi. Mr. Chewy, you want to try some Biltong? Biltong, look at that. It's like a salami stick really, it's like a beef salami. And, um, but I do like actually these ones, the little pieces like beef jerkies. A bit more like that. Tango 7, Sierra Mike Foxtrot, the ETC clear to Jebu Kenyatta, Ryan from Golf 656, flight level 3990, request level change route. After departure on 23, turn right. Cleared uh, from Maputo to Nairobi, uh, flight level 390 off departure 23 uh, Ryan Sierra, Mike Clockford. Here we go again, it's like a bus ride, on and off, but it's a Global Express bus flying at flight level 450 in a private jet cabin. Next stop is Nairobi, Kenya. Tango 7 Sierra, Mike Clockford, ready on reaching. Tango 7 Sierra, Mike Clockford, wind. Uh, 130. One two zero zero five clear for takeoff. Clear takeoff, uh, Sierra Mike Foxtrot. Seven Sierra Mike Foxtrot, good day, passing 5000 for uh, flight level 390. Seven Sierra Sierra Mike Foxtrot, Russia, a report to uh, Nikola Pat level 390. Flying on a private jet means pretty much you have the freedom to do anything you want. So in my case, I took a break between my first course and a second course while Marisa's preparing for the meal. And come back here enjoying the view. Lake Malawi is directly 45,000 below the window. It's a beautiful, splendid view across the Africa today. So let's see if our lunch is ready. Hey, hello, hello. lunch is ready. Wow, you're cleaning up. Final touches. Awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. We're doing four persons lunch at once. Hard working lady. Almost finishing my lunch here. I had a mushroom soup for the starter, and then I have a butter chicken curry. Compared to yesterday, the caviar on the Emirates, I think caviar kills it. Caviar wins about everything. But on a private jet, you could have caviar. You could order your own catering. What a great opportunity to be on this aircraft. I mean, I've been in aviation for more than 15 years, and it's the first time I'm experiencing flying in a private jet. I wish I could have my family around me so they can enjoy the same that I'm experiencing. So tell me, oh, oh wow, that is. Do you like some tea and coffee? <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. This is a real treat to having a South African Malvo Malvo pudding, pudding real Malvo. in the air. And look, it the comes with a tree as well. Oh, it's like you can do uh, eat bad dining. Imagine waking up for breakfast like this. Looking out the window, 
we saw Africa's tallest mountain, Mount Kilimanjaro, standing at over 5,800 meters in the distance. The pilot said it is very rare to see the top, as it's often covered by clouds. Soon, we started our descent. So we're on a rapid descent, almost 3,000 feet a minute, into Nairobi, coming down fast. Nairobi is very near equator. Seven Sierra Mike Foxtrot, good day. Uh, Stable on the localizer. Number seven Sierra Mike Foxtrot, continue approach runway zero six. Continue approach zero six. Number seven Sierra Mike Foxtrot, runway zero six, wind zero nine zero zero five knots, clear land. Fifty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. at Nairobi. This will be our nice stop. So at the airport, I met up with Kenya Airways Captain Yadi. His airplane was behind ours. We were coming down 45,000. Where did you come from? We were at uh, we that 7,000. We were from Johannesburg. But you guys were way higher, way faster. Than yeah, we so we were faster than you. We overtook you, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Evelyn, come, come, come. She has such a cool hair. I just love Thanks. this hair. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Like, how can I have a hair like you? <laughs> like, I'm going to do like two rooms here. We need to give you one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my name is Swahili, right? Swahili. Yeah, Chui. My name is Chui. Chui in Swahili. Ah, that's a nice name. That's Chui a nice name. The next morning, I took a safari flight on Air Kenya Dash 7 to Masai Mara National Park. It was so amazing to see so many animals during our approach. I will have a full video of this out soon. Welcome to day two of the Global Express Road Show. So today we're gonna depart for Lagos, Nigeria. Follow me. Look at this. Hi. Amazing. A lot of work for you. Ah, thank you. This is a South African drink. This is a good energizing drink. Great teaser. So here's a little behind the scenes. When I came on board, Marisa looks really familiar. It turned out I flew with her in 2016 on a Super 27, 727 with the winglets. Do you remember that one? ZSPVX is the flying giraffe. You remember the carpet Oh set? yeah, it has the giraffe color scheme on the carpet. Yes, and it was the presidential uh, aeroplane. Presidential. Before, uh, Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Uh, Jacob Zuma. Wow. And uh, Grasa Michelle. And then so, we did like um, a fly pass. pass. Yes, and yes. also we did a touch and go in the 727. In the 727, it was awesome. It's unbelievable, unbelievable. Now I'm so happy, you know, in aviation, this is how it's it is. Small, yeah, it's a it's small, a small circle, it's it small comes around circle. and goes around. Sam, welcome back. Uh, so today we'll be flying uh, from uh, Nairobi to Lagos. So, uh, and be uh, climbing to flight level 400. Then Lake Victoria, uh, crossing Uganda, um, then central uh, DRC actually first, yeah. and then uh, Congo, Tarts, uh, central African Republic. African Republic, Cameroon, which is also quite beautiful, and uh, Benin, and then into Lagos. And uh, we'll be cruising at uh, point eight three, Mach point eight three, which is about four hundred sixty knots. Uh, what's it? About nine hundred kilometers an hour. Flight level four hundred. Might be a little bit of. Uh, bumps along the way and a couple of thunderstorms uh, as the IPCZ has moved up uh, during this time of the year. So 4 hours 23? Yeah, 4 hours 23 for the, for the flight. Line up and it's the six and eight. 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 Line up and it's the six
Thank you. Runway uh, 07 clip for takeoff. Uh, Tango 70 Mark 5 Tango. Jet fly attendant, check out what Marisa's doing. You've got fresh food, you want your VIP guests to see that everything is from scratch. So you don't get pre packed meal for your VIP, so everything is fresh. You've got your egg, your cheese, you can easily make an egg omelette or your poached egg in the oven, it's easy. This is for poached egg. Okay. And the first one, and this is for ah, now you put the right omelet. That's the omelet. So this is the shabata bread for the post for the egg benedict. You're and different. It's fresh. You're very different. Very different approach. Not every copper jet does that. A lot of them just heat up the food, and you're preparing from scratch. Wow, gaining weight again. Like, <laughs> what do you call this? This is a, a chocolate mousse. A chocolate mousse. As we progress on the flight, I've been learning a lot of new cities' names. We're passing Kampala, Kisangani, Bangui, on the way to Lagos. But I want to know is UAS, International Trip Support. What does that do? Like it's getting a flight permit to fly from West to East Africa, something like that? Yes, and that's one of the things we do. Permits is certainly part of the trip support uh, profile that we provide. Uh, so the trip support, it will include typical, your clearances, your ground handling service, the fuel, hotel, as well as catering arrangements that the aircraft requires to operate a, a private or a charter flight. And that will ensure that this charter is accessible without any delays. With the addition of this Global Express, does that mean UAS now is entering a charter business? Absolutely, Sam. So previously we were more brokerage, now we've got our own aircraft in the charter fleet. The aircraft will be initially based in Dubai, in Sarja, but obviously as with any charter business, it will be floating and available to our clients globally. You know what, I enjoyed it so much being on board on this African tour, but I'm also absolutely feeling knackered right now. So I'm going to the rear and try out that beautiful bed. Absolutely, Sam, you're welcome to do so. Just keep in mind, if you've got more passengers in the future that travel with you, we have four additional beds. Uh, so these seats convert into flat beds, so we can cater for five flat bed sleeping positions in total. I'm saving the best to last. I think this is the best experience on this plane is in the private bedroom quarter in your plush bed and all I now want to is go have a good sleep and play with my favorite music and have a great dream. Good afternoon, Tango 7, Sierra Mike Foxtrot, establish ILS 18 left. Tango 7, confirm Sierra Mike Foxtrot, Zulu Mike Foxtrot. Sierra Mike Foxtrot. Tango 7, Sierra Mike Foxtrot, continue approach 18 left. Continue approach 18 left, Tango, Sierra Mike Foxtrot. Tango 7, Zulu, Sierra Mike Foxtrot, the surface wind is indicating camera 18 left, clack clack. Thank you, runway 18 left, Cleveland, Tango 7, Sierra Mark Fox.
my first time in Nigeria. I really don't know what to expect, but I'm so excited. I heard about so much things about this country. I'm finally here to explore. Just an hour later, I hopped on Ebon Air's new A220 on the domestic flight to Abuja in Nigeria. It was my first time experiencing a Nigerian airline. Nigeria has Africa's biggest economy, but the commercial airlines tells a different story. Stay tuned for a full video. Soon, our roadshow came to an end, and I flew out of Nigeria the next morning, heading back to the UAE, where this Global Express will be based and available for charter. Flying on a private plane gives you a lot of freedom, privacy, and convenience. However, I would say it is always the aviation experience that I treasure the most, being able to fly faster and higher. Now, tell me how did you fall in love with aviation in the video comment. Thanks for watching and see you next week.